My dear brothers and sisters, my name is Sandeep, and I'm excited to be here at KubeCon to talk about the topic that is very close to my heart, accessibility. Accessibility ensures that everyone, regardless of their abilities, has equal access to information and services. But why am I talking about this? You see, for most people, accessibility is an abstract concept. Okay, something they have never deeply felt with. And so I am here to give a face and a story to accessibility. I'm here to share my journey, not as a lead engineer at Zen, but as a person who has navigated life with a disability. So let me start with an incident that changed my life. I was sitting in my engineering classroom, holding my semester mark sheet that had an F in a subject. Throughout my school life, I was a topper, and here I was struggling to even get passing grade. You see, it was not because I couldn't understand the concepts, but it was because I couldn't hear my professors. I am deaf and I rely entirely on lip reading and in a class of 100 students, it was impossible to lip read the professor. And so my grades began falling. As I, as I held my mark sheet and I sat crying, a hand gently tapped my shoulder and passed a note, the note read, sit next to me and copy notes from me. I looked behind to see my college topper girl waving at me. And in her, I found a true alley. And she helped me to excel my engineering, converting my F to an A and even getting a distinction in engineering. My friend made me rely that empathy has to create bridges where compliance falls short. Throughout my life, this has been my guiding principle. After college, I went thousands of miles away from my hometown to a city where neither climate, nor the language, nor the food suited me. But I went there because there was a company whose CEO and the manager welcomed me with open arms. I was always told that how can we hire you when you cannot listen on the phone? From those lines to my manager and the CEO who believed in me, who sent me on set to clients places alone numerous times. The empathy empowered me to try. At KubeCon, we are here to build more than just text spaces. We are here to build inclusive communities where everyone can feel belong. And the difference between compliance and empathy is profound. Compliance must check a box, but empathy invites people in, when your the presence, brings out the authentic self and champions the potential. Today, I'm a part of the CNCF Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group. Together, we work to make events, spaces, and, and accessible for everyone. We are not just meeting a standard, we are fostering a culture where no one is left out. And I want to challenge all of you here to ask to meet that empathetic voice in your community. Ask yourself, how can I create an environment that is truly inclusive of everyone? How can I ensure that everyone in my team, regardless of their abilities, feel value and belong? By the way, this is Ellie, this is our mascot, and Ellie stands for accessibility. As you return to your projects, your teams, your communities, remember that every effort counts. Advocate for accessibility, not as a technical add-on, but as a fundamental aspect of human respect and inclusion. 
years of us had the power to make our communities more empathetic and accessible. Because in the end, the most powerful architectures, whether in technology or community, are those that expand to embrace everyone. Thank you, and as I end my talk, I encourage you to visit our project booth. The members of the CNCF, Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group, please draw my booth, please talk to us. There is a sign language crash course, and it's going to be very fun. Try to attend that, and the members of our group are speaking at a couple of sessions. Please try to show your presence there. And lastly, this is my first solo talk at KubeCon. I would really appreciate some feedback. Thank you.